low pressure. These ripples move along at the speed of sound. When you have two identical sound waves and you line them up just right, they no longer act like waves moving across the room. If you have a wave coming from this side and another wave coming from the other side, they become what's called a standing wave. You get a spot right here where there's a pressure flipping on and off, and a spot right here where the pressure isn't changing at all. There's no oscillation. If you flip this thing upright and then you put something tiny right inside that little pocket, you can use that air pressure to bump something up against the force of gravity. So it ends up looking like this ping pong paddle. The particle wants to drop, but it keeps getting knocked back up by the high pressure wave below it. And that is acoustic levitation. So if it works with foam, it should work with water, right? Anthony uses a syringe to balance little drops of water on top of that oscillating wave. Just like the ping pong ball, you can see it bouncing up and down. Look at the one on the bottom, bouncing up and down trying to find its spot. Another cool thing is the fact that if I make the water drops too big, they always seem to explode. Why would it do that? It happens just a little too fast to see with the naked eye.